yeah, it's another day that the royal family together with the British media is still whining and whining about Harry and Meghan leaving the UK. Despite everything that they did to Harry and Meghan, they still want to pretend as though they are the ones who are victims. Have they actually forgotten everything they did to Harry and Meghan and continue to do to Harry and Meghan to this day? It's really absurd. So even right now, the media is reporting that Kate and William feel resentful as Harry and Meghan left them to pick up the slack. I mean, is this a joke? So has William and Kate actually forgotten everything they did to Prince Harry and Meghan? Has Kate forgotten that when the story came about us uh, saying how Meghan had made her cry, she never said anything about it? Has Kate even forgotten how she told Meghan that you don't know me well enough to tell me that when Meghan told her that she had baby brain? And then has William forgotten that he leaked so many stories to the press about Prince Harry and Meghan that he told Prince Harry that he should never marry Meghan because she was an actress and she was an American. Saying how uh, people only go out with actresses and Americans but they don't marry them. And then has William also forgotten that he punched his own brother? Has he forgotten the terrible things that he said about Meghan to Prince Harry? It seems as though these people have amnesia and they forget that all the things they did to Harry and Meghan is the reason why Prince Harry and Meghan are no longer in the UK. And right now, the workshy couple is complaining about how the work is too much. They just can't be workshy in peace because everyone is seeing that they're not working, everyone is seeing their complaints and they just can't bear with that. They want Harry and Meghan back uh, to be their scapegoats. They want Harry and Meghan back to work so that they can cover for their laziness. But they should know that is never going to happen. First of all, Prince William has had like 41 years of his life to prepare for his role as a king. And he still feels like he needs his brother beside him. For what reason exactly? Because I don't recall uh, Prince William actually treating Prince Harry as his own brother or even as his own wingman. From what I saw and from what Prince Harry told us, it's like these people always used, uh, always used him as the scapegoat. So I don't recall at any point in time when William or Kate even saw Meghan and Harry as equals. They only wanted Harry and Meghan uh, so that they can use them as the scapegoats. And exactly what work are these people actually complaining about? Is there some work that these people do? Apart from going to one or two engagements in a week, greeting people and then waving at other people and then smiling for the cameras. Apart from that, is there something else that these people actually do? Because I really fail to understand. After all, they are always on holiday. It seems like they just work for a few days, maybe a week, and then the next week, you'll hear that they are on holiday. So I'd really love to know what work they are complaining about. When Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan were senior members of the royal family, they did William and Kate a very big favor because William and Kate just used to hide behind Harry and Meghan. So their laziness was not exposed at that time. But right now that Harry and Meghan are so far away and doing the good work that they are doing, the laziness of William and Kate has now been exposed. And that is straining William and Kate so much. But you know, I just fail to understand what these people actually mean because from, from what I've been seeing, it's as if Harry and Meghan have been creative on behalf of William and Kate. You see Harry and Meghan coming up with a project and the next time you'll see William and Kate, and Kate copying the exact same thing. 
I'm seeing as though Harry and Meghan have been so helpful to William and Kate because they just come up with ideas and then William and Kate copy the exact same ideas. If anything, William and Kate should actually be grateful to Harry and Meghan. But even until right now, you still see William and Kate, just because Harry and Meghan are no longer there to act as their shields, William and Kate now use their kids. You even remember that Kate was supposed to go to Singapore with William and then there was this excuse that came about saying how Kate was not going to accompany William because she had to stay behind so that she can help George in his revision. You see, they still use their kids as shields. And then another thing that came to my mind when I read this is is this actually a run-up for these people to announce their separation? Are they trying to say this so that in the end, they can blame Harry and Meghan for their failed marriage? We've all seen the way William and Kate have been acting in public. I mean, that is no secret, right? These people don't love each other. In fact, it seems like William can't even stand Kate. And let me just read you this very interesting part of the article which says that it's given them even more responsibility but also had a huge impact on their marriage and family life and at times it can feel like they are cracking under this relentless pressure. What exactly do these people mean? It even continues with less time at home together and having to spend more time apart, they feel constantly torn apart in different directions and they insist that would not be happening if Harry and Meghan had not um, abandoned their royal duties. Wow! I feel like this is a very lame excuse because so many couples still have to work but you can't uh, find that people are complaining about not having to spend time together. Even Harry and Meghan have so much work to do. Harry has his own projects. Meghan has her own projects. But you'll never find Harry and Meghan complaining about that. So many couples have to work like that because people have to put food on the table. But it seems like these two work shy people don't want to do any work. They're just giving these excuses so that the next time something happens in their life, they're going to find someone to blame for it. And you know, what's really sad is that William and Kate have accomplished little to nothing in their lifetime. In William's 41 years as being a royal, he's literally accomplished very little. Clearly, the work of being of service to people is not their calling. Even in 2022, William did 126 engagements while Kate did 90 engagements. And you know, engagements are often less than an hour and they can even do more than one engagement in a day. It can also be a football game or a Zoom call. I mean, this headline just highlights the uselessness and the laziness of this royal family. They complain about everything and anything. They should just say uh, they want Harry and Meghan back so that they can use them as their scapegoats. They should stop with all these stories, all these excuses because we all know they're just lying. There's no work these people do and they should stop with the whining. How are people even supposed to believe that they're going to make a good king and queen if they're now complaining just about being the prince and princess of Wales? Or do they think that they'll also need a vice queen and a vice king so that they can help them with their engagements? I mean, William and Kate are just very lazy and it shows over and over again. I'm sure that they're even tired of hiding it. Well, let me know your thought concerning uh, whatever this article was saying. And then I'll see you all squaddies on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing day. Goodbye.